Virgo, what is up? It's your girl, Kat. I just got out of work a little while ago. I'm not looking my best, but we're going to get these readings done. <laughs> All right. Hope everybody is doing well. I did call like 11 million people today, so my throat is a little sore. I'm a little hoarse, so bear with me if I start to lose my voice a little bit, okay? But let's see what we got. Oh, 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 the Ten of Cups, Virgo. That's what's up. Look at that. Right at this, like, wall. It's like interrogation lighting. That's better. Okay. All right. Oh, and things are not as they appear. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Because normally I lay them all out and then I read them. And I'm doing one at a time. I don't want to do that. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. So you start off with the Ten of Cups. That is fantastic. Um, that is like complete emotional fulfillment, happiness. It's like everything you want. But things are not as they appear. Feeling guarded. Um, hmm. Okay, we'll get into that. This could be reckless thoughts, reckless speech, reckless actions, like reckless behavior. Something to do with... Oh, This is financial, Virgo. This is financial. Yeah. This is not being guarded. This is pinching your pennies. This is, you're going to have to have a really strong budget for a little while because you've been a little reckless with the spending, I feel like. You want to start a new path and a new journey? Could also be a little like immature. Like you could have just gone on a spending spree and now you're like paying the price for it. Toxic behavior. I think put you in the poor house a little bit here. Uh, gave you a financial setback. It could have been some retail therapy. Um, and something to do with the soulmate. Okay, let's pull some more. I feel like you went shopping, Virgo. <laughs> what happened? What jumped out? Oh, okay. The equal partnership, the equal give and take. I feel like, okay, and I just said a soulmate connection. I feel like there's somebody who is your soulmate that's going to help you financially. You're going to get a communication, a truth, um, and then a new beginning. Okay. So I feel almost like this person is going to talk to you about overspending or spending too much. Like you're going to have like this, this come to Jesus truth bomb talk. And then you'll have a new beginning after that. All right, let's clarify some of this. So the Ten of Cups is like super duper happy. It's everything you want with a big red bow on it. That's a good card. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hmm. Keeping to yourself. Looking inwards. Oh, okay, okay. So you're trying to you're trying to find what makes you happy. You're trying to identify your happiness. Okay. How do I get to the Ten of Cups? I feel like you're doing some soul searching and like trying to figure out what it is that you need in order to get to happiness, right? Things are not as they appear. What's up with that card? The King of Swords. Okay. I feel like you need to cut out some unnecessary things around you. And yeah, and you need to set a budget and really watch your money right now, Virgo. You can't be inconsistent, okay? Right now you have to be very disciplined with your money. I feel like that very strongly because you've been a little reckless, I feel, recently, and it's set you back a little bit. Yeah. You're going to have to stop the reckless behavior in order to move out of um, out of trouble and into karma waters, okay? That big old coin, what's up with that? Oh, yeah, money's got you stressed out. You need a break. You're feeling like you just want to disconnect, just keep to yourself, lay low. Um, and then I said that's either a new path, a new journey, or it could be like a little irresponsible the empress it's a new path okay so 
if you set a budget, right? Set some boundaries, really set some goals for yourself um, and stick to it. You know, the Empress is a fantastic time for anything that you're planning right now or anything that you start new will be uh, very abundant and fruitful with the Empress. So if you're trying to save money, if you're trying to focus on your finances and um, kind of like cut expenses and uh, really restructure financially, this is a good time to do it and it will be blessed, okay? There's some kind of toxic behavior here. Yeah, the King of Pentacles. Toxic behavior here that's affected your money, um, your security, your stability, uh, your financial freedom, okay? So you're going to have to reel that in, okay? And now you're having some financial hardship, I feel like, Ugh, with the Ten of Swords. So I do feel like that financial hardship is going to end. But I feel like there is a soulmate here that's going to help you out of this situation, okay? Or there's like some kind of divine partnership um, is going to help you out of this situation. You're going to have a couple of different choices or options. This person is going to give you some options. And you're going to feel like, Jeez, I don't know what to do, but you're gonna you're gonna pick an option there, and they're gonna help you through. Okay, and this is somebody who's a really good partnership for you. Um, but you may feel uneasy about accepting help. You may feel uneasy about that. Um, but this person really is in it to win it. They want to have this conversation with you. Um, it could be online or through text messages or FaceTime or something of that matter. Um, but they really want to have this honest conversation with you and get you back on track and help you. They really are legit looking out for you and trying to help you. This is not somebody who's doing this with strings attached or somebody who's trying to help you out of a bad situation in order to get something later on from you. This is not that type of situation. This person genuinely loves you and cares about you and just wants to see you do well. They want to help you. And here's the new beginning, right? I feel like you're going to have to be a lot more vigilant with your finances and your spending, Virgo. Okay? All right. This is not really a love reading at all. This is a financial reading. So I think I'm going to pull the power of love oracle cards. All right. Let's see what we got. I got to put my glasses on because I can't see a thing. <laughs> all right. Oh, loyalty. Taurus just got this. You saw me shuffle. Taurus just got the same card in the last reading. Your... Reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. Okay. Yeah. I, I feel like this is true of, of a lot of the earth signs or all the earth signs. Really, you guys are very um, reliable, devoted, consistent, uh, loyal. Yeah. So these are all fantastic traits. And I feel like these are the things that this person sees in you and wants to, why they want to help you. They think you're really a fantastic person, you know, and they just want to help you out of this situation. So, help is on the way. Tough times don't last long. Tough people do. All right, Virgo. I hope that you like that. Until next time. Oh, wait a minute. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, I don't know what you're waiting for. Other than that, hit that button. Come on. Join the Scorpio Cat family. The more the merrier. I think I'm getting sick, you guys. I'm going to go have a cup of tea. <laughs> All right, guys. That's what I got. Till next time, Virgo, take care.